Somebody so said it wasn't. What, so who was started like, it, by the way? You did, right? Oh, I did. I okay. definitely started it, yeah. And what's funny is if you go to Evan Dunham 155, first he lists, he does a, um, a rankings, right? And yeah. it says Connor, Habib, Ferguson, and then he's got the others, and it has booked next to their name. Next to Nate Diaz, he put not fighting. Then he continues on with others that are booked. Um, he gets the ally quintet, number 11. He writes, whiny bitch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I threw that one out there, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. And know. I think that's what the got things uh, going there. And, of course, Evan Dunham, his comment next to him, for uh, number one signature striker in lightweight history. Yep. So uh, and, I, and I put the thing down below to prove it. So, you know, uh, I'm the only guy uh, – you know, I'm the only guy in that top three, I think, that doesn't have a, a five-round fight either. So, and I think I'm beating – I think Nate's number two, and I think he's still behind me by a couple hundred punches. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know why. Chael, Chael was on the show yesterday, and he he was like, I don't understand why all these guys are calling out Al Quinta. Well, he's got some hype on his name because he keeps beaching and moaning about how much he's getting paid, and I agree with Al Quinta that we are underpaid. Absolutely. But – if you want to get paid more, there's only one solution. Either A, you need to just not fight, not get paid at all. Or B, you need to finish your contract because you know what you signed when you got into it. Finish your contract and then you negotiate. That's how it works, you know. So, yeah, I think we're underpaid absolutely. But, I mean, you're at a point where it's kind of shit or get off the pot, you know what I mean? So, um, but, you know, like, I is just one of them. Dar I don't know. I know I murder his name. Darush. 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 Uh, he's number 10, right? Yeah. I, I think that would be a great fight because I know he's a good jiu-jitsu guy. He hits hard. Um, you know, I think that would be a real good fight. I know I know my stand-up game has been improving every single fight. My last few fights, I feel more comfortable. Um, and, I'm you know, I'm putting high numbers up there, volume over, you know, power. So, uh yeah, I think that'd be a great fight, man. I don't Do location know. and card placement play a big role in, no, in your decision? No, I don't care about that. No, it's about who who they give me. If they gave so me. It's all about the opponent. Yeah, if they gave me a top ten guy and we were on the, what is it now? The um, fight fight pass. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't care. I'd rather have that than I'd rather be a main event versus Joe Schmo that I don't, not even get excited for. Even a main event? Well, yeah, because it's like wow. for for me, it's not about. It's not about you. Nowadays, you know, over my progression of, of you know, fighting and stuff, it's, uh, it's more about what can I accomplish. You know, I want to look back someday and say, I really, you know, tried my damnedest to move up, and I spoke up when I needed to speak up uh, to try to get as far as I can get. And if I don't do that, then I feel like I'm cheating myself. 